there are many natural disasters occurring on Earth. Of those, the earthquake is the most terrible disaster. In this video, let's talk about how earthquakes occur. Before getting into this, let's know the structure of our planet. Our Earth is made of four different layers. They are crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. Each layer has its own unique physical and chemical properties. Let's dig into these layers. Crust. This is the top layer on which we live. All the mountains, jungles, and oceans are made of this layer. It is the thinnest layer of the four layers. This layer is 70 kilometers thick on land and 5 kilometers thick at some ocean floors. This layer is a combination of several plates called tectonic plates. The crust is mostly composed of silica, alumina, lime, magnesia, and iron oxide. Mantle. This layer starts below the crust layer and is denser than the crust. It is 3000 kilometers in thickness. It is mostly made of silicate rocks rich in magnesium and iron. This layer is not made of full solid. Somewhere, the rock is completely melted, which is called magma. In this layer, rocks are moving constantly. Outer core. This layer is in a liquid state at a temperature of 5000 degrees Celsius. This layer is mostly made of iron and nickel. These metals are in a liquid state due to intense heat. The outer core is always in constant circular motion, which creates a magnetic field around the Earth. This magnetic field protects our Earth from the sun's wind. If there is no magnetic field in this core, our Earth could not have an atmosphere, oceans, and life. Inner core. This is the hottest layer of the four layers at a temperature of 7000 degrees Celsius. It is also composed of iron and nickel metal. This layer is in the solid state. Despite the fact that it is the hottest part of the Earth. This is because the inner core is under tremendous pressure due to the weight of the other layers. How Earthquake Occurs The movement of tectonic plates against each other makes earthquakes happen constantly, but we don't feel their effect because they usually glide smoothly. It is estimated that the fastest plate moves with a speed of 6 inches per year. When these plates catch each at some point, then the pressure at that point builds up. When the pressure becomes very high, then plates suddenly shift releasing very high energy waves that propagate in concentric circles shape and shake the nearby land that causes destruction. The earthquake creates wave called seismic waves. Hypocenters and epicenters. Starting place of an earthquake is known as a hypocenter and it is below the surface of the earth. A place directly above the hypocenter is called epicenter, where the strength of an earthquake is strongest. The movement of tectonic plates classified into three types, they are, convergent boundary, divergent boundary, and transform boundary. Convergent boundary. A convergent boundary occurs when two tectonic plates push together. When an ocean plate and a continental plate collide, the ocean plate slides under the continental plate and bends downward. Divergent boundary. A divergent boundary occurs when two plates are spreading apart. Molten rock rises from the Earth's center to fill the gap. Transform boundary. Transform boundary marks slip sliding plates. The plates do not slide smoothly, but build tension and release it in the form of an earthquake. Measuring earthquake. Waves that are produced by an earthquake are called seismic waves. A seismograph is a device used to measure these waves. These waves are measured on a scale called Richter scale. Each increasing Richter number shows that earthquakes are 30 times stronger than the previous number. An earthquake is noticed when its magnitude is 3 or more on the Richter scale. Below this number you won't notice any shake caused by an earthquake. It is estimated that there are 500,000 earthquakes every year around the globe, but only a few of them cause any damage. I hope that you have learned something as useful. If you like to watch these types of videos, subscribe to this channel and keep in all. Thank you.